I'm just cooling around. Off the drink, got me chilling. Yeah. Just ride around. Inside the tunker, got no ceiling. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Need them person about the ceiling. And she hate me. It's it. Even just like the. Sydney did. <laughs> What's up guys? Um, welcome back. This is my first mic'd up gym video. Probably my only mic'd up gym video for a while, but elite subs. Taking our pre before we do a chest and back. Using Perform by Nexus. Get this on the elite subs website. Use code Kalani for 10% off. Best pre in the game. I've tried thousands of, hundreds of pre's in my time and this shit's on everything. We've also got the uh, non-stim pre version, the pump. So we're gonna take a scoop of both. It's usually the way I like to go. Perfect mix. You don't get that nauseous feeling either. We're gonna take you guys through the exercises we are doing. We're all about hypertrophy right now, but we're still gonna be going heavy around that eight to 10 rep range. It's the way I like to go, so, cheers. <laughs> It's so, it's my favorite. I've tried like, you you so you've never taken a scoop pre workout, ever. Ever. I usually just drink coffee. I'm sorry if you get addicted. I <laughs> tried having a break for like a month, just no pre, so I could just like chill out for a bit and get my tolerance back. But about two days in, I was like, nah, I gotta take pre again. Start off with incline dumbbell press, work our way up, three to four warm up sets. Just enough till we start feeling the blood flow, get your shoulders nice and warm, and then we'll head into two top sets at eight. We're gonna try for our first top set, we're gonna try to hit the eight to 10, hopefully around the 10 rep range, failing right at 10, making sure we hit at least eight. Second top set, we wanna be basically failing at eight reps, so really pushing yourself. Clean reps as well, don't rush them, make sure they're clean, solid reps. Cool. So, I usually work up to a top set of around, uh, depending on what the dumbbells are, 46, 48, 50 kilos. So my top, my first top set will be 40 kilos. Um, I usually stick with that, see how that feels for 10. So how I warm up for that is I'll do a set of 20 to the point where I just feel nice and warm. Then I do 25s, 30s. Depending on how I feel, I might jump straight to 40s or I'll do a set of 35s. Depends if I feel warm or not. So, we're gonna work to 25s now. Nice and slow, controlled, get the blood flow. So I usually give myself like a minute, a minute and a half in between each warm-up set just to so I make sure I don't tire myself out, give myself enough rest time. And then in between the top sets, you usually want to go for around two and a half to three minutes rest, depending how you feel. Listen to your body, kind of go by how you feel with each set. Maybe I'm going to come here when I do my app, because like what I want to do is, so I'm doing the PDF first, it's like ebook. then I want to go online coaching. When I do online coaching, I'm going to try get it onto an app, like either... Probably not make my own app, but work with a brand that does their own app, which you like film yourself doing the exercises and then put the video onto the app for people to watch, like your clients. This would be a sick gym to do that. So we're gonna go onto 30s now, see how these move. This will kind of determine whether we jump straight to the 40s or not. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good today, so let's see how they go. Hit this for around six to eight reps. Oh yeah. Oh. Easy. We're gonna go into our top set now, 40. We'll see how this moves. We're gonna go for a nice controlled 10 reps. And then if that moves well, we'll move straight up to the 46, 48, 50, somewhere in that range. It will depend on the set, how we go. Well, that moved probably as expected. 46 kilos. Try and move those for a solid eight. But since we are in prep and we've already dropped the food, it's definitely gonna be not as strong, not as explosive as when we had, you know, four and a half thousand calories in us. We've dropped to 3.2 now, so hoping just to move it for a solid eight and keep our strength as much there as we can as we head further into prep. 
hoping it at least moves for a solid eight. If I can push it to 10 reps, I will. You know, you want to be taking it close to failure. Pretty much one rep left in the tank or complete failure, as long as you're being safe. Oh, bit of a walk back. Never hurt nobody. Push it to nine. Okay. Oh, well, that was failure. It's always the walk back to the dumbbell rack. Absolutely kills me. Sweet. Okay, we're on to the next exercise. We're going to do our first back exercise. We're going to go straight into some sort of row movement. We're going to see what they have here. Um, yeah, we're going to try to get a bent over row if we can. Otherwise, we just go horizontal row. We can choose the music. <laughs> okay, so. There isn't a bent over row, chest supported bent over row, which is pretty much what I want to find. That's the best compound exercise, in my opinion, for your back. Put aside deadlifts or bent over rows of the barbell. Having that chest support, you can overload it. Um, you can go really heavy on it, and that's exactly what you want for your first back exercise. But we don't have them at, that at this gym, which is fine. We're just going to find ourselves a horizontal row, something with the chest supported. Solid go. I like to set up nice and high with the seat just so I can really get a low row into my middle lats. Medium weight, just to fill it out. So I'm gonna go for probably the low handles to pull into my back. If they feel uncomfortable, we can swap it around. This is usually what feels nice to me. Oh yeah. So we're gonna just do a warm up set. Hit this for 10 to 12. almost double that weight, and we're gonna hit out three really heavy sets, 10 to 12. We're gonna try to hit that 10 rep range. I usually work around, around the 10 mark for my back exercises, because if I start going more reps than that, I start feeling my forearms get overused. That's where you can use straps, but I try to limit strap use. But we're gonna go pretty heavy on this one, because I'm feeling nice and warm from the last exercise. Really pinch your back, but don't let your Shot. Don't let your posture kind of fall back. You want to stay nice and spread, like chest forward, and then pinch, pinch arms back. Get that nice full extension. Oh, I'm too short for that. Okay. Oh. We're gonna go even heavier than that for the next set really push ourselves in this set, make this our heaviest one. And then the third set can kind of be a back off if we need it. Treat that more like a growth set. A lot of reps in that one. Nice and slow with these reps. Cool. Okay, we're gonna do one more set of that. We're not gonna film that one because that's just gonna be a bit of a lighter weight. Pump out like 15 to 20 reps, really get that volume. And we're gonna move on to our next chest exercise. Since we hit the upper chest and a bit of front delts for that um, incline press with the dumbbells. We're gonna hit into our middle chest, our mid chest, and a little bit of lower on this. The way the angle that I'm gonna be coming through is gonna hit a little lower. So it's basically just a normal pec deck. Great exercise. I like to do the seated with cables if I can, and get a bit of like a press fly but fortunately we don't have close enough cables here to do that. That requires a bit of like a smaller set, but it's all good. This works pretty much the same nonetheless. Oh, she's, she's actually a really attractive girl. Anyways, so we're gonna go into our second set now. This is a little bit heavier. We've gone up about 15, 20 kilos. Um, this one's gonna be pretty tough to get out 12, but we're gonna push anyways. Really get the squeeze. Nice and controlled, that's the main thing. You really wanna keep it controlled. <clears throat> oh yeah. <clears throat>
Ah, oh, fuck, okay. Third set of pec deck. We're really gonna squeeze this one. Get as much out of it as we can, because the third exercise for chest, we're gonna go quite heavy. Um, and that's gonna be another incline press, so we wanna get the most out of the mid and lower pec as we can. So we're gonna stay at the same weight, which we just got 12 for, and we're gonna try to get another 12. Probably gonna get around 10, but then we're gonna also do partials, get that final squeeze out, so. Oh, let's go. Oh. Let's go. Oh, this is really heavy. Oh, okay, last rep. <laughs> okay, that was absolute failure. It's what we want out of a third set. We're gonna go into lat pull downs now. <laughs> We're gonna go into lat pull downs now. Hit those real nice and heavy. That's our upper, upper lap, lats, and a little bit of traps as well, and redelts. We're gonna smash that now. That's all for chest for now, until we go into incline press. So for this second back exercise, we're gonna do lat pull downs. We do have a uh, mag grip here, which basically is just like a nice contoured grip for your hand. If you don't have these, these straight bars are fine. I just recommend, as you go a bit heavy, you might wanna use straps because um, usually your forearms on those straight bars can give out before your back does. But we're lucky to have these at this gym. So we're gonna hit this for three sets of 10 to 15. And what I mean by that is your first set, you wanna be hitting around 15, second set 12, third set 10, super heavy. Um, if you don't hit that 10 mark or you're just hitting the 10 mark, maybe drop set it, cut the weight almost in half and do like another five, six reps. Really squeeze out that pump. Let's go. Start on 67 kilos. Punch this out, 15 reps. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. As you can see, nice and controlled. Keeping that path straight up and down. Tucking those elbows into your lower lats. You're gonna really feel that squeeze. Second set, we've gone up 15 kilos. Gonna pump this out for 12. We'll see if I get 12, hopefully, but it's fine, let's kill it. Okay. Nice and control. That was easier than I thought it would be. So for the last set of 10 to 12, I'm gonna jump up another 15 kilos, almost pushing 100 kilos on the pool. It's gonna be heavy, but if you're feeling good, you wanna push yourself. You don't wanna just be doing mediocre sets where you're hitting 12 reps with like five, six reps in the tank. You're not gonna get growth off that. You have to really be pushing yourself each set. You got a progressive overload on your lifts. You wanna be getting each week, each session, hitting a little bit more weight or more reps for the same weight you're doing. You wanna be progressing every single session. And if you hit a plateau and you're not going up in weight, Maybe you gotta fix up your diet a little bit, put on a little bit more size, or drop the weight a little bit, clean up a couple reps, and then keep going up from there. You don't wanna be staying stagnant in the gym. You kinda of always wanna be improving, getting a little bit stronger. Because if you're only staying at the same weight, you're not getting stronger, you're not making gains. So, we're gonna do one more set of this, and we're gonna kill it. Third set, we're gonna really push this one. Oh, nice and light. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm actually going to push two more just because that was not fair. Oh, okay. That was fair. Okay. Second last exercise, last for chest. We're going to pump this out, starting with 20, 220s on each side. Might go up a little bit, depending how we feel. This might be quite heavy, but we're going to go for three sets of a heavy 10. So we're pretty much going to be pumping this out. Um, really squeezing the chest. 12 reps. Prop the seat nice and high. Even though your legs might be hanging like this, it's uh, the bar path on this. You want from under your chest, upper. If you go too low on this, it's going to be up here. You're just going to start using your front delt. So you want to prop yourself nice and low. <laughs> Let's see if we can pump out a good 10 reps. Oh, yeah, it's nice and light. All the way stretch back. 
See, I'm coming all the way back. My wrists are almost at my chest. Sweet, so that was 12 reps, so we are gonna go up. We're gonna put fives on each side. Go to 45. See if we can get that for 10. Nah, it's like straight up, wake up. I'm just gym, bro. Lift heavy with the boys. That's all I want. I'm a simple man, I don't need much in life. Just the gym, the boys, maybe a attractive gym girl here or there. But it might actually require me to talk to girls, which we know we can't do, so we've got to work in our craft. Let's go. 10 reps. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One more. Easy. I'm going to absolutely destroy myself. Push the failure. We're going to go for 10 reps. It should get 10 reps, I think. But if we can go further than that, then great. I feel like we're definitely not going to get 10 reps, but <laughs> don't doubt yourself. Just go try. So. Oh, this guy's pretty, pretty heavy for me, so especially on prep. Okay. Oh, yeah. Three more. Let's go two more. Last one. I'm not going to complete this rep, but... Okay. Whew. 11 reps. Happy with that. Was not expecting that much, but... Like I said, don't doubt yourself. We're getting stronger on prep. What more do you want? Okay, so for our last exercise, we're going to hit single arm seated rows. I like to go in the back of the bench for this one, so you kind of support yourself, your waist up against the bench. I'll show you what that looks like. So, single arm. Just really, so you're propping yourself up against the bench, really controlling that way, squeezing into your mid and lower lats. Getting a full stretch at the end of the rep. And we're gonna hit this for three sets of 10 to 12. Swap arms. It's nice and light. Gonna move up a little bit in weight. Last two sets. Smash those out for 12. And that's it, we're all done with the workout. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was way too light. So we're gonna punch it up like, fucking, we're gonna double that weight and just kill ourselves the last set. Dude, people here are probably thinking like I'm some big time, like million, million follower, like, I would think it if I saw someone with a rig like that, and like cameraman. Uh. 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 Fuck. Uh. Ooh. Fuck. Alright. We're all done with the workout. That was a good one. This gym is sick. Uh. Um, it's hot. It's very hot here, so I'm exhausted. For now, I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna get some water and enjoy this heat.